Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Vinge Resolve 17's Magic Masks again. Now, somebody asked me if I can do two people at a time, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So I've been messing around with this tool quite a bit, to be honest, and I've been uploading a lot of videos about it. So it's not going to replace the Roto Brush tool, but for some scenes and simple scenes and talking head scenes, and as long as there's not a lot of overlaps, it can actually work. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this clip right here. And I'm going to go ahead and rewind it, press play. As you can see, nothing really is going on. It's just these two people, you know, just hanging out. N not much movement, to be honest. Her arm is moving there a little bit. So nothing is going on. So this, this thing should work right here. So let's go ahead and go to the color page. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my qualifier here. I'm going to go to my magic masks. And then I'm going to click my eyedropper right here and we're gonna click better and I'm just gonna draw like that and I'm gonna draw like that just like that I'm gonna select them and then what I'm gonna do is press play all right so you see right there it's having issues with the arm right here I'm not sure why that is Oh, cause she's, it's going in and out. That's why. Okay. So it's masks though. It, it's, it, it is masked. So let's go ahead and turn it on, turn it off. And then what I'm going to do, so you can see this a little bit better. I'm going to do a solid color, drag it underneath. I'm going to change this to like gray. Gray is pretty good at like seeing things. So I'm going to do an alpha again, and then we're going to turn it on. All right. So here you go. I'm going to turn off the strokes. So with one stroke across, it masks the girls, all right? And obviously, there's it's catching some of her t-shirt right here because that's the same color, so that's okay. But the arm right here is disappearing, okay? So there's limitations with this thing, but the crazy thing is this is version 1, all right? And let's refine this a little bit. If I go move that all the way to like... 90. I know this is extreme, but I just want to show you what that tool is doing. And then I'm going to blur it to like 50. Shrink it to like, I don't know, maybe like 3. I know that's a little bit too much, so subtract it a little bit. You know, maybe like that. Blur it. Clean it if you want. I mean, even, even like maybe like 50 or something. Obviously, there's a lot of halo in there. I'm starting to do a little halo effect, but you can kind of see that for, with a couple of clicks, we can make it pretty darn decent. And this is really crazy. I mean, even the hair and stuff, yeah, it's just having trouble with the arm. But yeah, I mean, for a fast rotoscope, you know what I mean? That's pretty crazy. So yeah, guys, it does work. But it does have its limitations, as you can see with the arm thing. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, like always. I'll see you guys later.